My name is Mark Vermillion, and I'll be teaching sports criminology. In addition to wanting to welcome you to the semester, I also want to take a brief moment and talk a little bit about who I am, but then also talk about the class, and in particular, section one of the course. As I said before, my name is Mark Vermillion. I'm the chair for the Department of Sport Management, and I'm also the director for the Workforce Leadership and Applied Learning Degree Program. My background, or educational history, if you will, has been in sociology, criminology, social psychology, those types of things. And my current role, in addition to teaching courses and working as a department chair, I work a lot with sport and non-sport organizations, especially in reference to their leadership training or, or other forms of professional training. And in keeping with what we do here at Wichita State University, we do a lot of coalition or partnership building. I really wanted to take a moment not just to welcome you to this class, but also provide that brief overview of what it is I'm looking for in this class. We're going to introduce concepts to help better understand aspects of crime and deviance associated with this particular institution of sport. But it really behooves us to understand what I mean by sport. Sport is going to include all the organizations, conferences, federations, organizing bodies, franchises, etc and all of the participants and the personnel associated with this industry. Sports, plural, with an S at the end, is usually in reference to talking about spe specific activities like football or lacrosse, basketball, those types of things. So oftentimes we like to talk about sport because what it does, it just provides us some theoretical and empirical flexibility moving forward. I'm really big on effort. If you're able to stay engaged, manage your time, manage your personal schedule, your professional schedule, your school schedule, all these different things, then you're going to do well in this course. I also think it's important that students know that their opinions are important moving forward. My job as the professor of this class is not necessarily to give you my opinion all the time. My job is to provide information and help you develop and make your own informed opinion about whatever it is that we're talking about. And I really believe that if students know that their opinions are important to the class and important to their own success, then oftentimes that's going to be associated with increased effort. If you manage your time, if you stay engaged with the Blackboard course shell, if you stay engaged with all the assignments and activities and the school schedule, then your effort's probably going to be high and you're going to do well in the course. Sport as an institution is extremely impactful here in American culture. It's also very impactful in global society. And what we really know is that sport has measurable impacts on things like individual emotions. Think about the highs and lows associated with the sporting experience. Sport is also going to impact society or culture. It's also going to be associated with embedded within or impacting both economic and political realities of wherever people live. And because sport is so impactful, there is a great amount of time devoted to identifying the high profile and negative behaviors within this world of sport. And that's fine. But we want to go beyond the headlines. We want to go beyond ESPN. We want to go beyond the news. We know that sport can positively or negatively impact people and communities. If we want sport to really grow and continue to be a positive impact, then we need to better understand the negative and the harmful activities, behaviors, and structures that sometimes can be associated with sport. We're not going to pick on sports, and we're not going to believe that sport is a panacea that cures all social ills. Sport is one institution in society which is comprised of many institutions and it just happens to be the focus of this particular class. Section 1 is the first part of the class and as we begin this sort of sports criminology journey what we want to do in this particular course or excuse me in this particular section of the course is to review summarize or introduce students to early explanations of crime deviance and harm. If you have a background in criminology or criminal justice, then some of this information might be a review for you. That's okay. If you're new to this particular discipline and you don't know a lot about sociology, criminology, 
and or criminal justice, then this would be good information moving forward. Regardless of your background, all of these ideas serve as the foundation for what we want to do throughout the entire class. And what we're going to try to do is develop a common vocabulary. We're going to understand what we mean by criminology. We're actually going to build our own definition of sports criminology so that we can utilize this idea throughout the entire semester. We're also going to look at how social science can help explain individual or group behaviors. And what I mean by social science, it's kind of a, a group of approaches, whether it's sociology, criminology, psychology, to some extent it might be anthropology or history, economics, geography, all of those sources of information can be lumped into this bucket of social science and we're really going to draw from that bucket to inform what we do and how we think throughout the rest of the semester. We're also going to take a moment to talk a little bit about the different definitions and types of crime. And as we develop that, that broad-based vocabulary, that's how we're going to start to build the architecture for understanding not just sports criminology, but how impactful the world of sport is to all of us as individuals and to people. As I mentioned before, please make sure that you're staying engaged with the syllabus, the class schedule, all the information located on the Blackboard course shell, class requirements, exam dates, due dates, those types of things. In the meantime, if you have any questions, then please reach directly out to me and I will do whatever I can to help. The point of this class is to explore the idea of both sports and criminology. This class is not a required class for any degree program at Wichita State. And that allows us a lot of flexibility on how to move forward. It's also one of, if not the first sports criminology course here in the United States. Again, we are building the plane as we're flying it. And that's an exciting thing, for me anyway. Because you all, as students, are taking the class. You're absorbing the information. And you're helping to create the class and you're able to leave a legacy in future classes. So I appreciate you taking the time and effort to be a part of this class, and if there's anything that I can do in the short term, please feel free to contact me.